This is the first video in a short series that will show you how to use Web of Science. This video will show you how to conduct a keyword search and then narrow that search using the Search Within and Limiter features. We are going to conduct our search in the Web of Science core collection. These boxes are where we input our keywords. Over here is a drop down menu that will allow you to search different fields. For example, if you want to do an author search, which is covered in another video in this series, you would want to select author. For keyword searches, though, it is best to select topic. A topic search will search the article's title, abstract, and associated keywords. If you want to limit your search results to a specific date range before you search, you can do that here. For now, let's keep it at its default, 1900 to current. For this video, we are going to conduct a search with the research question in mind, how does gene flow affect mountain population ecology? Pulling keywords from our research question, we can type into the search box our first keyword, gene flow. By searching gene flow without using quotation marks, Web of Science is going to assume an AND Boolean operator in between gene and flow. It will search for both of these terms in relation to one another. Any separate terms that you put in a search box without sorting by AND or 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 using quotation marks will happen like this. Our next key term is population ecology. To add another search box, click Add a Row. The AND operator here will narrow our search, recalling back from the database all relevant research that incorporates both of our keywords. In the second box, let's type in population ecology. Web of Science will also assume the AND Boolean operator between population and ecology. Once you are ready, go ahead and click Search. As you can see, the search produced many results. This is way too many. A great range to start examining sources is when you have reached 20 to 100 results. To limit our results, we can either add a keyword or use the search within option. Or we can use the limiters on the side. But let's go ahead and add a third keyword term first. Let us type in mountain with an asterisk. This asterisk will pull in additional words like mountains or mountainous. Click the magnifying glass in the Search Within box to refine the search. Our new search produces a much more manageable amount of results. Web of Science will still bring back results by relevance. That's its default. If you can see in some of the titles, Web of Science has returned results with keywords like genes or genetics, although our search term was gene flow. Web of Science will allow some play and variance in how it returns relevant keyword searches back to you. You may also notice that some of the titles do not have highlighted keywords. That's okay, as some of the articles, if we click into their title, may have many of the words that we've searched in our keyword search highlighted in the abstract. Some of the ways we can narrow our search by using limiters on the side include year, topic, and document type. For now, let us click the box next to article and then click refine. Now we should be looking at academic journal results relevant to our keyword search. We now know how to conduct and refine a keyword search in Web of Science core collection. Remember, should you need help either brainstorming keywords or in your keyword searching, please feel free to ask a librarian. If you want to continue watching in the Web of Science database tutorial series, the next video will cover evaluating academic journal articles and determining whether a source is primary or secondary.